damage in some neighborhoods is just unbelievable after a wild night of storms blows through the states. Good afternoon, I'm Chris Velarde. Keith has the day off. The cleanup continues across the state after a night of damaging storms. Power has been knocked out to thousands of people. Crews are working to get the lights back on. They have been working through the night. Right now, CLMP is still reporting more than 53,000 outages. UI has that number down to about 750 customers still in the dark. And with scenes like this, it's no wonder there are so many power outages. This picture from Sherman was sent to us through the reported feature. Take a look at the damage from Wanzer Hill Road. This was the scene in Enfield. Lightning filled the sky. People say the wind was howling. Trees fell on homes, on power lines and roads. Fortunately, no one in the Enfield area was hurt. Woodbury was another hard hit town. Our team coverage begins with News 8's Kent Pierce on the scene there. Those thunderstorms did damage all over the state last night, but this might be the spot hit the worst. This is Transylvania Road in Woodbury, where not only are all the utility lines down, so nobody's got power, cable, telephone service, but with all the utility poles and trees down over the road, a lot of people couldn't even get home last night. It was around rush hour Thursday afternoon when the storm brought down all these trees and wires. Lorraine spent the night at her son's house and tried to come back this morning. I thought I'd wait till dawn and come back and see if I could get in, but evidently not. And what are you going to do? Um, my son lives in Southbury. Go back. He doesn't have electricity either. Go to work like this. There's some people that took some paths behind the main roads to try to get up to the, um, you know, the other areas to maybe meet people and then try and bring them back. But by the time people got back last night, it was after midnight. With the road blocked at every access point, there was nothing to do but walk and sometimes climb over trees. That's what Scott did to get home last night. I ended up parking about a mile away and then walking through the woods to get here because they weren't letting people go, even on foot, with all the down power lines. So. At least when he got home, he had a generator for power, and by morning, only a half mile or so of Transylvania Road was impassable, but some of those still trapped are actually feeling lucky. The trees were swirling, and the next thing we heard, the big thud, the crack in the thud. See, that thud was this tree Betty Co. planted more than 50 years ago. Falling down, it could have smashed her house. Instead, it fell harmlessly on the grass. With all of the lines that are down and all of the utility poles that were either uprooted or snapped right in half by this storm, the question now is how long is it going to take to restore everyone's service? And the answer is certainly not hours, but days. On the scene in Woodbury, I'm Kent Pierce, News 8.